Hi everyone, I'm planning to do a page by page review of the USMD first aid so that it reinforces my revision as well and uh, helps you guys out also. So let's get started. This is the first page of biochemistry that is basically dealing with the chromatin structure and page. it is page number 34. So what you need to do is you don't need to look at this paragraph. Okay, don't look at this paragraph. Just understand everything from the image itself. All right. So when you see this image okay you can see that the double helix the dna double helix is getting con condensed and from here itself you can see that it is looping around twice okay so after it loops around twice you can see that the histone is an octamer okay see if you zoom in it's divided one two three four five six and you know seven eight you can see the seven eight so it is an octamer now what happens is um, this histone, the histone and the DNA, the histone has positive charge because of lysine and arginine amino acids and the DNA itself has a negative charge that is the phosphate groups. Now what happens is obviously negative attracts positive so that's why they, both of them they stay bound together. But you need a, you need a cellotape here okay just to reinforce everything. So that is what the linker DNA is, it's a cellotape. It's a piece of tape that basically uh, tapes the DNA to the histone if you look at it that way. Now this whole structure whenever it's open is called euchromatin. Now you can think about euchromatin in two ways. I mean you know you can think about the word chromatin the prefixes eu and hetero in two ways. That is in terms of whether it's transcriptionally active or whether it's transcriptionally inactive. Okay. Eu means truly it is inactive. Truly it is active, so that's why it is true chromatin, okay, truly transcription, kind of, okay, and this is obviously no transcription happens here. Now, from here only you can, you know, uh, try and understand that obviously you need an open structure in order to get the enzymes and everything of transcription to bind there as such. So that's why euchromatin is usually transcription active. So yeah, just, you know, try and extrapolate things. Next is you need to know the structure of the nucleosome. So when you look at the nucleosome, obviously it has the histone octamer and uh, the DNA that is bound in the linker DNA that you have, the cellotape. So the linker DNA is H1 histone, so that is like obvious. Okay, so this is how you can, you know, just uh, read, the, read the image rather than read the paragraph itself. Next, we have mitochondrial DNA, which is like really important for AIMS. It is circular, it does not utilize histones. These are the most two important things. And the mutation rate is higher and there, there are about 37 genes that it, that it has and they code for all these proteins that are mainly related to the respiratory chain. Okay, and they have 16569 base pairs. These numbers have also come in the AIMS exam. Next, we come to heterochromatin. So, you have to remember that whatever is written on this page, they are interlinked. Somehow they are interlinked, okay? First thing is this word called sterically inaccessible. Sterically would mean anything that is spatial, okay? So spatially inac inaccessible would mean that these transcription proteins cannot come and bind here and that's why there is no transcription happening. Now, increased methylation and decreased acetylation. This is something that I'll explain as we go down which is like you know correlated on this page okay so let's come here to dna methylation now what you have to know about dna methylation is it will always suppress always it will suppress transcription so transcription is suppressed in a heterochromatin okay so that's why in heterochromatin it's like there is increase of methylation because it decreases the expression of the dna itself there is no transcription happening now, what you need to understand is there is no change in sequence. Although there is a change in expression, there is no change in sequence because this is an epigenetic change. Okay, It does not uh, tamper the sequence of the DNA. It just lets some parts of the DNA express and some parts of the DNA not express. Okay, So, next is, this is what you have to remember about gene promoter. Okay. How does it act? How does this methylation work? It works by methylating these CPG islands, okay, which are present on the gene promoter. The promoter basically would control whether transcription is happening or not. This 
you know you can correlate it to lack operon okay so yeah that's it okay dna methylation would always suppress and this is how you relate it to methylation here next is histone methylation it may or may not suppress okay because it will depend on the location of the methyl group so this is like out of the question next you come to histone acetylation now you need to remember that acetyl group okay like uh, you know acetyl is a negatively charged you know group co minus that's what we call as acetyl so what happens is histone is positively charged we know that how how do we know that because of these two amino acids okay so you have lysine and arginine here all right and because of lysine and arginine you have histones having a positive charge now if i go and acetylate that positive charge okay obviously it will become neutral kind of and then it will stop attracting the negatively charged phosphate molecules in the dna okay because if i go and just if i go and you know neutralize this and if there is negatively charged here this attraction is not going to happen anymore so obviously it will open up and if it opens up if it opens up then it will become a euchromatin and we will be able to do whatever transcription we want to do there so that's why histone acetylation would increase transcription okay and another very important thing is here in heterochromatin you have less of this acetylation because obviously you need to have the the dna tightly bound to the histone in order to have heterochromatin okay you cannot have it opening it opening up in case of heterochromatin so yeah everything on this page is basically correlated and deacetylation obviously decreases transcription transcription because um, you know the acetyl groups are removed and there's more tightening of the dna because there's more positive charge in the histones so i think you don't need anything outside this page in order to know this page because everything is on this page interlinked if you just you know try and uh, try and decode stuff a bit more so yeah this is the first page of usmd step one and uh, like share and subscribe because i'll be i'll be posting more and more such videos as and when i start revising this book okay so yeah go ahead and show some love bye